Hi folks and welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors with Bob Coker. We're still at Crooked River Ranch. We're still having a great time seeing lots of bucks. And folks, I'm here to tell you in this bone contest, Bob Coker shot a 121 class deer at Crooked River on last week's episode and that puts me ahead of Dana. Hell, I can, not for long. I can see him wearing that dress now. I can't. I can't envision it. Dana still has a tag. He might be lucky, I don't know. Folks, we're going to take you right to his hunt where we're refreshing the come here deer. Just not quite old enough. Now this one is a lot closer to what we're after. This is an older deer. He has huge crab claws and good mass, but just not enough points. Folks, we gotta take a commercial break, but don't y'all go away. We'll be right back with some more exciting hunting here at the Crooked River Ranch, where Bob Coker's still winning. <laughs> See what that this swagger right there. That thing's cool than a polar bear's paw. All right, folks, welcome back. We're still here at Crooked River Ranch. That's right, folks, and we're going to join Ronnie Shirley on his hunt. As he's refreshing his come here, dear. Right. Is in his swacker. Tell you what, that, that swacker right there. That thing's cooler than a polar bear's paw. And boy, it does the damage, that's for sure. Freddie, if you're in the phone booth, just for me to stick him with that swacker right there. Because it's going to be on like Donkey Kong if he comes out of night. Thank <laughs> you. 
see that? It's flat. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Bob Kirk Outdoors, Cookie River Ranch. Cause, oh, I'm happy as a short-legged fat pony and I feel those. Boy, I just smoked him like a hippie at a hula convention. Bam! Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh, boy, I drilled him. Do you see that swagger? It laid the swag down on him, baby. That was the swick. The swacking lizard lick. Yeah, baby, I just repoed me a monster. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Bo, that was cooler than an Eskimo's toilet seat. Ooh. Dude, look at that. Thank you, God. Thank you. Bo, I don't even know what to say, man. Other than... You'd rather be super glued to the Tasmanian Devil in a phone booth and not come to Crooked River Ranch and hunt out here with these great folks, bro. These folks right here are good and snuff and ain't half as dusty. Country's cornflakes, better than grits. And, bro, this is what it's all about. Lizard Lick, Bob Coker Outdoors, and Crooked River, baby. Oh, we don't see this slick, baby. We Lizard Lick. Yeah. Man, I think Ronnie was a little bit excited. Man, I'd say so. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Went ahead and laced up another swag. Now it's time to go over here and say, come here, deer. I want you to know I shot this deer right in here. Show you what he was eating on, what his nose was on. That's why they call it come here deer. Because if you're going to lay the smack down on him, bro, that's what you use right there. That's what he was eating, come here deer. Had his nose in it, calm. Now we got to find some blood. Well, Ronnie, you put the swack on him. Oh, yeah, bud. <laughs> That's a nice one, too. That is. I ain't got no complaints about that right there. I tell you what, he, uh, he's he got some long tines and long uh, main beams. Uh, beautiful deer. Beautiful yeah. Texas deer. Crooked River Ranch, folks. That's where we're hunting. Uh, if you want to kill a buck like this, call the number at the bottom of the screen. Ask for Roy Wilson. He can put you on some deer like this, whether you're bow hunting, gun hunting. He can do it. Got good accommodations. What do you think, Ronnie? Bo, these people down here are good and snuff and ain't half as dusty. I mean, if you want some good southern hospitality, good folks, good food. I mean, we've been fed down here, boy, I'm telling you. I feel like a fat puppy on a fat piece of cake. This place right here is the place to come, Crooked River Ranch. I've, I've had more fun down here than a three-eyed dog in a hubcap factory. <laughs> Well, folks, don't y'all go away. We're going to go to commercial break. We got a whole lot more hunting here at Crooked River Ranch. It was a great feeling. Crooked Ranch, you really do a good job. Folks, welcome back. Now we're going to join Ronnie's dad, Ronnie Sr., in his deer hunt. As soon as we got back in the blind, we had hogs and deer just all around us. But Ronnie passes on the deer because they were too young, but he decides he's gonna tag one of them hogs. It's a hog hunt now. I didn't get a deer, there was two nice bucks out there, but they weren't quite what we were looking, so I decided to shoot a pig. Yeah, I hit him, I think I got him. He ran off, we gotta go track him, but uh, I tell you, this Crooked River is one great place to hunt. They got it all. So, I'm ready to go out there and see if I can find this old pig and see what we can do with Oh, 
Well, I don't know if it's the same one or not, but he come out of the brush, so I shot him again. This time he went down, though, for sure. He spun around and around. It was a great feeling. Crooked Ranch, you really do a good job. Folks, we're here with Ron Shirley Sr. from Lizard Lick, North Carolina. I'm sure y'all all heard of that. And uh, we was trying to do some deer hunting this morning, wasn't we? Yeah, so it was. <laughs> it didn't quite turn didn't, out that way. They didn't want to cooperate with us. The, uh, the hogs came out and ran the deer off, so our deer hunt turned into a hog hunt in a hurry. Real quick. And you put the smack down on two. And Dana sat there and laughed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, you came to Texas to get a deer, and uh, they're going to send you home with a couple of ugly-looking pigs. This makes today's my wedding anniversary, so this will make a great present for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send her two boar heads. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still got a, about a day and a half left, yeah. so we, we're still going to get after those deer. No, I think we'll get them. How do you like it here at Crooked River Ranch? Love it. Love it. Food is fantastic. The guides are great. The hunting... Well, Everything most of the guides, just, most of the well, guys yeah, put you on they a got this one named Vance. You got to kind of watch him, though. <laughs> he'll, he'll put you somewhere and just leave you. <laughs> yeah, we've had a great, great hunt here at Crooked River Ranch with Texas Best Outfitters. And uh, we're going to go back here to these things, get them skinned out, get some lunch, and head back out and try to kill a deer. Folks, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back after this commercial break with more from Texas. <laughs> Oh my Watch goodness, out, buddy. now there might be a snake over there. Alright folks, welcome back. Still at Crooked River Ranch. We're going to take you to Dana's hunt where he's brushing in his blind. Time to get even. <laughs> Time to get even. And we're going to find out uh, just who's afraid of snakes on this show, too. Yeah, aren't we? I, I believe Ronnie Shirley's a little bit afraid of them. <laughs> I'd <him>. say so. <laughs> oh, man, about to crank up. Well, how, how, how heavy y'all? Hey, go! <laughs> Roy, I swear to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, man. now there might be a snake over there. Son of a First we refreshed the Khmer deer. And the hunt was on. And it was on. Dana is surrounded by mature rack bucks. Yeah, and they were still posturing for dominancy of the area. Yep, even though it was after the rut.
Wow, these deer are very skittish. The buck finally settled down and he headed right back to that buck gravy that we'd poured all over these rocks. Yeah, he couldn't keep his lips off that, could he? He couldn't. What'd you think about that one, Bob? Hey, you put the Swacker Daddy on him? Yeah, the <laughs> Swackers and Z7 Extreme Matthews did the trick again. It did. I tell you what, he uh, he ducked dramatically. And went forward. And went forward, but uh, fortunately... Uh, I was aiming a little low because they were acting really skittish. I mean, we, we had to move around in the blind just a little bit, move, get Justin in a chair. It's tough to shoot a... A bow in a blind, you and, know, especially with two people. It is, it is. Uh, the you know, when you drew, they heard it. I mean, every little move we made, even we had the noisemaker going, and they were still very skittish. Yeah. Uh, but really, really what, nice, though. 11 points. Yeah. A couple of kickers kicker on, the on the back. We didn't even see it. A couple of crab claws. Really, really nice deer. Uh, you know, the camera angle, I was to the left of Dana. He was actually more quartering toward Dana than he was. It looked, uh, a lot more broadside on camera than what it really was. Yeah, it was a little slight quarter. You know, we were talking about how nervous they were. If it hadn't been for the Khmer deer, I think they would have left, but they they were just, they had to have it. They kept coming, they kept back, coming to back to it. They kept coming back to it. They were addicted to it. They were. Folks, if you guys want to come to an absolutely phenomenal place, you saw how many bucks were there when I shot this one. And they were all close to shooters if they weren't shooters. Crooked River Ranch. You need to call Roy and Becky at Texas Best Outfitters. Call the number on the bottom of the screen. They will set you up. There's a reason we came here every year for what, I think nine years ago. Ten, ten, ten years, years ago. Yeah. Uh, the proof is in the, the animal on the ground. It sure is, and you see lots of them. We've averaged probably five bucks seeing five bucks every single time we go to the blind. That's an average. And I tell you what, folks. And it's early in the season. Very early. Folks, till next week, be safe. Shoot them straight, and may God bless. We'll see you next week on Outdoors with Bob Coker.